So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to, to you, to Dr. Uh, Saranj Vankaria for scoring rank number 40 uh, in MCA Surgical Group. Great accomplishment in NEET SS 2023 sessions. Congratulations and best wishes to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Doctor, wonderful talking to you and I mean interact with you right now. Can you tell us uh, where you started your career from and what all you have done till date? Uh, yes, sir. So, so my undergraduate is from uh, KM Hospital, Mumbai, St. GS Medical College in KM Hospital, Mumbai. Uh, I started in 2014, then uh, till 2020. Then in 2020, I joined uh, Government Medical College, Nagpur. Then uh, uh, it was till 2023. So I started my preparation around uh, April of this year. Uh, but then, sir, I had my university exam, so I had to leave the preparation for around a one, one month or so. Then again, I rejoined my preparation again, and that's how it was. So, you finished your uh, MS General Surgery in April? Uh, yes, sir, MS General Surgery in June. Uh, so, the exam was in June, May, June. Time. So, you are fresh out of your PG program, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And back to back. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> so it is really great. So very nice. And uh, tell me, uh, how did you make it in this uh, June? You finished July, August, September exam, and uh, three months in hand. You can you tell me how you made it? Uh, sir, actually, I had uh, one month of April also, uh, and then three months like like this. So I just uh, focused on Bailey based videos that, that were there uh, and then just focused on just Bailey and Sabiston, like Bailey cover to cover and Sabiston I read only GI part, mostly only the GI part. Uh, actually I had joined Speed last year and uh, I had started watching when uh, live videos were uh, going on, live sessions on Bailey 20th edition. But uh, unfortunately, due to my clinical postings, I couldn't attend them. But then when later they were uploaded, then I saw all the Bailey based videos. They were like the best thing that could have happened to me. <laughs> Who took Bailey based classes? Uh, say your classes, uh, Bailey 20th edition classes. Uh, I remember that you used to uh, tell us that uh, you should read the topic first and then attend the classes. So I used to try to do that and then uh, whatever. Uh, questions you used to say then questions out of line by line questions were there which were amazing sir <laughs> <laughs> so very very nice great words and uh, so it was a very very exhaustive session for me itself to prepare and take it actually this yes. really was a real nightmare because when it i thought when it will get finished because it was just clearing the exam <laughs> <Yeah>. also <laughs> yeah. Because it is a new edition, we were a little apprehensive that any new updates have been asked in the exam that you should not be paralyzed. So, yeah. uh, so it was uh, done that way. But every single paragraph and every single important line was covered in that session. So, I was very happy with that. Yes. So, because students will want that actually. They want to do that way. So, we have to do that way. Only then it will be appropriate. And also our way of uh, reading the book is different than what, uh, how you used to teach that we should try to frame questions out of the lines. So that was very good. <laughs> okay. So tell me, I mean, the full-time preparation, you tell me what you did. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, when your uh, exams are over and after yes, that, sir. you'll have, I mean, you're close to the chapter of general surgery MS is over. Now yes. for that dedicated time, you share with us what you did. Uh, sir, so firstly, what I used to do is uh, just uh, uh, watch which uh, which Bailey based video I want to see. Then I used to in the morning session when fre with fresh mind, I used to read that chapter from Bailey. Then till afternoon, I used to finish uh, that chapter uh, from the Bailey based videos. And uh, in the evening time, then sir, I used to solve uh, around at least uh, 50 to 100 MCQs per day uh, related to the same topic. And uh, then, uh, and uh, once a week, sir, at least I used to solve one grand test from the Speed Medical App. Uh, so uh, even though initially I I had got very less marks, then eventually when I finished my Bailey based videos, then I was getting proper marks. And then, uh, if, whenever I used to get time, then uh, for GIT, whenever I used to get time, I used to simultaneously finish uh, my Sabiston also. So that was it. Very nice. 
so i didn't make any notes or anything i just uh, uh, read bailey along with your videos marked whatever was important in bailey and uh, uh, whatever extra information you used to provide i used to just write down in the bailey and that's it division how many revision how did you do your revision uh, sir revision i had i think uh, four complete revisions of uh, bailey cover to cover and sabiston git parts sir how did you revise i mean uh, through the book or how 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 revision was uh, sir initial uh, two revisions i was just going uh, line by line from starting to end then later uh, i saw this uh, general surgery high yield uh, topic videos uh, there are some i think 25 videos are there so they were very helpful then i used to just uh, watch that video and whatever mcq that you used to te- uh, you used to teach us then i used to go back into the textbook and revise complete topic from that uh, particular question very nice doctor how many questions did you answer uh, sir i answered 148 questions sir wow what was the two I... questions which are not lucky enough for <laughs> dr sarnesh not to answer <laughs> so one was of the rubens lab i didn't know the name and another was one from statistics statistics you left Uh, did sir you only attend, one did yes, you attend the uh, statistics class did you attend the statistics uh, class no sir i wasn't able to attend that class <laughs> okay yes. so two questions you left and uh, very good and maximum number of questions you attended i'm very happy for you and <laughs> also <laughs> so what is the message that you want to give to your juniors who are aspiring for mca super specialty uh so firstly i would like to say that they should definitely attend the clinical postings in the first two year of the special, their uh, pg uh, not to just focus on super speciality from first year itself because as we are seeing sir more and more questions are coming from clinical based uh, scenarios and that so my clinical postings helped me a lot in uh, tackling these kind of questions uh, then definitely means uh, bailey and sabiston gi is a must for for cracking these exams if we get time then uh, even shorts uh, some topics like thyroid breast and vascular surgery we could refer from uh, shorts uh, then uh, solving mcqs uh, is also a must because uh, we won't know then how questions are framed so right. solving mcqs uh, is definitely a must and then uh, even uh, sir uh, solving at least one grand test per week because there are lots of grand tests available in the app so at least one if we solve per week then we will be able to know where we stand and what we need to prepare our weak areas and strong areas and and one more thing sir i i would like to say that uh, like there are some controversies between uh, bailey and sabiston so i used to just uh, trust uh, blindly i was like hey, whatever vinayak sir says i'll just trust it blindly and he used to say end of discussion so i was like yes this is the end of discussion i'll just trust whatever it goes <laughs> in the live class you mean to say yes sir in the live class live class is a lot of argument and discussion on every topic <laughs> actually <laughs> and i used to say something then op- i mean from the student side is no 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 sir this is given in sabiston this way the one will say this is sports is given this way uh, no no sir you used to say i <laughs> this is what is the correct answer end of discussion i was like yes i'll trust this <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice it was a great interaction great year on preparation thoroughly enjoyed taking classes yes sir for uh, your batch of students So, what is the specialty that you are interested in? Uh, sir, I am interested in surgical gastroenterology. I I knew because the way you said a lot of <laughs> <laughs> in-depth knowledge on surgical gastro is important. Of course, gastro GI surgery is important. I remember that I took Bailey based GI surgery for almost six months. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. and to complete itself is a very difficult job. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I am really happy that uh, your field of choice. and also the appropriate rank and you will be able to choose where you wanted actually yes sir so so time to thank whom all you want to thank who helped you to from day one to achieve what you are today uh, sir uh, my family was very supportive in all my preparation since UG undergraduate days then post graduate and now super speciality and then uh, sir even my professors at uh, gmc nagpur uh, sir they were very much helpful like my guide and the uh, professors who were in my unit they were very much helpful they used to motivate us uh, constantly that you know uh, read this uh, whatever cl- clinical case you see you go and read about it at least something you read 
so they were also very helpful and my friends who were preparing with me also everyone was helpful and definitely sir your your efforts have made us uh, made the journey so much easier for us and even dr basan singh's videos were very helpful sir very very nice doctor very very brief and was very uh, good enough for the students to understand what they should do and i also congratulate you you just planned in such a way that uh you finish after your general surgery in ms quickly go on to gi surgery and yes. uh, and your travel also is a great inspiration only yes so, sir thank you and very good and once again i wish you uh, on behalf of the faculty members and speed team and also personally from my side i wish you a uh, grand success and a, and a great journey and a great career as a surgical gastroenterologist in making and also to practice uh with uh, lot of yeah you have a lot of passion for it and definitely you will do a great job for the patients who are coming to you all the best to you doctor thank you so thank you so much great.